So race 11 is up next. It's the Felton Novices Chase. It's another group event. I think it's about the seventh one uh, so far today. Again, over three miles. So it's definitely Parnell for Hems is number one. Hope Springs Eternal for Josh Charles is two. Long Wave for Ryan Costa is three. Mugs Money for John Morgan is four. Al Jafire for Martin Lehman is five. Kentucky Fried is Leon Van Rensburg's number six. Pombal for Darren Thompson is seven. Taverner for Davy Lamb makes up eight. And another graded event here. And we're worried about ten furlong races on the flat. They all get to the first and they're all over it. Fairly small field to take these three miles here. At Haydock for the Feltham Novices Chase. Great one event. Everybody takes the second. Taverner gave it plenty of air. But, uh, there's plenty of racing still to come. Maybe Robbers are looking to follow up from his win in the Tommy Whittle. Seems swinging right handed now. Which is. Uh, Quite confusing, because didn't we go left-handed in the last race here at Haydock? Anyway, we're going right-handed this time round, and it's Al Jafire that leads us from Kentucky Fried and definitely, definitely Parnell. And followed through by Hope Springs Eternal, Mugs Money and Pombal. And then we'll skip over the third. And we've got uh, Long Wave and Taverner out wide. But it's Al Jafire that leads us now into the fourth. And we'll skip over that. These novices. So it's Alger Fire, by length and a half, and Kentucky Fried and Hope Springs Eternal. And a wall of horses. One up against the fence, I think it's, and it's Mugs Money. But John Morgan will know where to go as they get to the first of the ditches. And he takes it well. And that's how Mugs Money is definitely Parnell. Wider still is Pombal. And just the two at the rear, Tavern out wide from Lawn Wave as they get to the six. Oh, we've lost one. Pom Bow's gone. Went up there a little bit too early. And we're just down to the seven now. Lucky for Darren Thompson. One taking a keen hold is Hope Springs Eternal. Again, it's the Menace Silks. Inside of that, also taking a hold now is Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sorry, Kentucky Fried. It was inevitable someone was going to say that after the word Kentucky Fried. It's Colonel Sanders' horse. But it's Alger Fire that leads us. Into the seventh. We'll take it well. Well, the chasing pack don't really want to challenge this leader. Alger Fire's been left out on his own as they get to the eighth. He jumps it best of all. One that didn't take it particularly well was definitely Parnell. It's a little bit slow. Now I know why we're going right handed here because we're actually at Kempton. Moved away from Haydock. It was just the one event at Haydock by Tommy Whittle. Felt the noises, Chase. This is Kempton, as you can see. It's your weather track on the inside. I don't even know where I am. We go past the winning post. The circuit to go. And I have uh, pretty much half the race to go, a mile and a half. I've just lost the one, which is Pombal. And we're still being led by Al Jafaya. One's moved up into second now and come alongside the rail is Taverner. Go over the water. Taverner's followed through by Hope Springs Eternal against the fence. Definitely Parnell mugs money out wide. And Colonel Sanders. I'm not sure I just call him Kentucky Fried because that's his name. And long wave at the rear. Well, still well over a mile to go. Here in the Felton Novices Chase, they get to a small ditch. Shade it well, and it's Alger Fire for Martin the lead. That leads by about five to six to Tavernar and Mugs Money. Hope Springs Eternal, definitely Parnell. Looks like you find just moving out wider. A little bit of space and long wave I can't see at the moment. But we know he's still on his feet. So Alger Fire. We're well, taking a hold now. A tactical race as we come down inside the mile. Alger Fire from Mugs Money in second. Hope Springs Eternal is third. Tucky Friday's four. Taverners dropping back a little bit now again and five. And definitely Parnell and Long Wave just at the rear. We get to the next, which will be the 14th. Six from Hope. Takes it well, the lead up. As does the rest. So it's Alger Fire. Happy bowling along in front here. Mugs Money asks for a little bit more from his horse now to try and close the gap. 
Tauntify from Mugs Money. Uh, Why Kentucky Fried? Pushing through again now is Hope Springs Eternal and Tavner. It's going to be between these. Definitely Pino would have a lot to do and Lord Wave would uh, need to a tsunami to come along and wipe out the first seven horses but it's Alger Fire that leads us by a couple of lengths from Mugs Money that's closing the gap well now as you go over the 16th that's three from home so it's Alger Fire leading from Mugs Money in second Hope Springs Eternal last for a little bit now Kentucky Fried on his outside Tavner's still there it's going to be between these five Alger Fire now being put under a little pressure inside the final half mile from Mugs Money Hope Springs Eternal on the inside Kentucky Fried out wide Tavner will have to do a bit from there but it's still Alger Fire Holding off all comers at the moment as they're inside the three furlongs and they swing right handed now to line up for the judge. It's Alger Fire by about three from Monk's Money, Kentucky Fried and Hope Springs Eternal. Tavner still plugging away as they go over the three from home and it's still Alger Fire. Two to jump inside the final quarter mile. Is he going to hang on here, Alger Fire, as we come inside? The penultimate takes it a little bit early. Monk's Money jumps it better and puts on, comes up alongside to put on a bit of pressure inside the final furlong. So it's Alger Fire going to give way to Monk's Money. Monk's Money was slow over that. So it's still Alger Fire pushing through Hope Springs Eternal on the outside. It's Kentucky Fried. So it's Monk's Money. Hope Springs Eternal. Kentucky Fried. These three together as we go over the line. It's going to be Kentucky Fried. I think from Monk's Money. Hope Springs Eternal in third. Alger Fire just a bit of a mistake on the last. So the three of them, three top trainers, go over the line together. And here's another win for Leon Van Rensburg. The Kentucky Fried, amongst money for John Morgan was second. Hope Springs Eternal for Joshua Sullivan was third. Al Jafia, unlucky, comes in fourth for Martin Leadham. And Taverner for David Lab was uh, about a length behind and came in in fifth.